All right, 7.3, this should be nice and easy. We're gonna start by writing an inequality for each sentence, and then we're going to be stating a true or false and then graphing a couple. So the first one is just writing it. So knowing the words more than, no more than, at least. So being able to do your inequality symbols, less than, greater than, less than, equal to, greater than or equal to, okay? Remember, this is colored in because it's included. This is included. These mean they're excluded, okay? And they point in the directions that they're supposed to go. This, your arrow would go to the right, meaning it's greater than everything to the right. This would go to the left, everything left. And same with the other one. So more than 3,400 people attended. So whatever variable you wanted, people, more than 3,400. Just like that. And that's how you're gonna do one and three. Then you're going to skip down to number five and you're gonna state whether it's true or false. So it's gonna say nine minus X greater than three if X is equal to six and five tenths. So you're gonna take that and you're gonna put it here and you're gonna do nine minus six and five tenths. So once you do nine minus six and five tenths, you're gonna get two and five tenths. Is two and five tenths greater than three? In this case, you would say false, okay? And so that's how you're gonna do five, seven, and nine. And then I'm gonna come down to 11 where you have to graph it. So it says A is less than negative two. Now this is all you have to do if you don't print off the sheet. Use the blue line for your number line. Put that number down, put a number to the right of it, and put a number to the left of it, okay? So just do it like that. It's less than, as long as the variable is first, it's telling you what direction to go, and it's not included. So you're gonna do an open circle at negative two, and this is how I do it. You go up and out. So it includes everything less than negative two. Remember, less is left, less is left, okay? That's how you're gonna do 11 through 19. And then once you get to 21, it's gonna give you the graph, and then you have to write the inequality. So if you look at question number 21, X, everything, the, everything on the number line is going to the right, so you're gonna say greater. The, the point is colored in, so it's equal to, and then it's at negative three. So you're gonna write the inequality statement. It should be pretty easy. Good luck.